Hi there, it's Becky Belote from Newport News, Virginia, and it is Tip Tuesday. I proudly represent Creative Memories products. Um, I uh, have been an advisor for so many years, I just can't even remember, and I, and I love the product, I love the business, and I am very happy to share with you some great tips today. Um, what I'm gonna be focusing on is the border maker system with the camera, the new photography chain. Um, border punch. All right, so I'm going to show you a number of ideas and then I'm going to show how you can use some of those ideas to make a really pretty pretty page spread. So let's jump into it. Um, apolo I apologize for the way I look today. I have to be honest, I almost didn't even show you my face today, but it is Christmas. I had my, my little um, Christmas colors on. I have my sparkly nails and I thought I should show you my face and to wish you a Merry Christmas personally, despite the fact that I went to Pottie's and had Liana today and she's really hard. All right, so um, what I'm gonna do um, first is uh, make a quick border with the border maker system. Remember the border maker system is a must have. It does really fast borders. So you just open the tray, you put your paper in, you push this magnetic bar down, you flop the tray back, and then you um, put whatever cartridge in you want. Your cartridge can go to every little slot, or you can do a few different ones and then switch your cartridge and then fill it in. So you can mix your cartridges for lots of different looks. For right now, I am just going to go straight across. A little tangle there. It's only one place that these notches here fit, so it's really hard to make um, a horrible mistake. I'm gonna give you a heads up. Next week, I'm gonna show you another little idea that's gonna use these little circles that fall out. So, so you, um, save your circles. The rest of it you can put in your trash unless you can think of another thing to use those for. But I am saving the circles for something I'm showing you next week. I am anticipating being busy. So I wanted to show you that. So this is um, what that looks like, okay? All right, so. Um, you can uh, lay this down um, as is, as a beautiful border. Looks just fine as a beautiful border. Another thing that you might want to do with this, um, doesn't work with all of them, but it definitely works with this. Um, any of these that have a really thin little thing that's connecting the two, you can actually twist them. So I'm just gonna twist and squish, twist and squish, twist and squish all the way down and then you can use that as a little side border put your little re um your adhesive on there is that just darling I, I, all right so that's one thing that you can do um and again here's that camera that i told you about super cute just the way it is um but you can also um here's one where I have actually added it. I, I used here the decorative trimmer to get that banner look in the background. This guy, great, great tool. Um, and then what I did is I put little foam pads on the back of that chain to give it some rise. Isn't that pretty? So um, th those are great ideas for entire borders. Um, also, you can mix and match your borders. Um, as you have learned, like this is the wine chain. What if you went out on an anniversary dinner? Um, I love the wine chain with the cameras. Um, this one, um, I love it for pets, for camping. These are called animal prints, and I mixed that. Now, when you do this combination, there will be a little strip of paper here and here that you have to take your scissors and trim off. Um, and, and on this one, this is mixing the candy cane with the camera. Super cute, right? All right. Also what you can do, you can actually cut these up, all right? Um, each little camera is about two inches. So um, you can just cut it up if you want to. And if you do, this is six inches, this is four inches. So if you wanted to put that on top of a mat that you've already cut, for instance, here's a mat that I already cut. Um, and I went ahead and put um, a two inch one, a um, four inch one across the top here. This is another variation where I kind of tilted it. Um, over here, um, this is six by four mat, 
and you can see how that fits perfectly there. Um, this, keep in mind, um, if you want to make just a camera, just snip off these. We used to have a little camera free punch, but if you didn't get one of those because they, they've been long discontinued, you can just snip off part of it um, to give yourself a loose punch there too, okay? Um, another cool thing is you can make your mat a little bigger than you need it. For instance, I like four by six mats. Get this out of the way. I like four by six mats. Um, so let me just go ahead and cut a four by seven. I know that doesn't sound smart, but you'll understand in a second. So that's four. Let's make it four by seven. If you make it bigger than you need, you can actually go ahead and make your um, your camera border at the same time. So let's say I wanted, oh, I'm gonna, this is the, the wider side, so I'm gonna put it in this way. Fold it back. And then just do these two punches. And what you're gonna see is, this is clean cut, and this is perfect to run across the top. Okay, cool. All right, so that's a skill you're gonna see on the paper that I did. All right, the last thing that I want to show you, and I'm going to, um, I'm gonna make one more quick border. Maybe, this is, um, oh, here we go. All right, get this out of the way. All right, so I'm gonna teach you um, something that you're gonna use in a moment. And to do what we're getting ready to do, you're gonna want a six inch circle. So I did use this tool to get my six inch circle. You just go ahead and uh, line up the little mark to the six inch and cut your circle. I'm making sure I have room first before I start cutting. All right, so there's my circle. All right, so, and then what I wanna do is quarter it. So I could fold it and fold it and then cut, but you don't really need to do that. Um, our trimmer has a little dip de do right here. If you put your circle so that it's flush in that space, it's gonna center it for you. All right, and then what you can do is, is put these on top of each other and then do it again. Before you cut this time though, do make sure that it appears that the flat edge up here is parallel to all these little railroad tracks, okay? Because it is possible that you will screw it up on this particular part, okay? All right, so now I've got my four little quarters. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna put one of these down so that it is um, in the corner. Not all the way in the corner, you could put it all the way in the corner, but I'm not. And, oh, wrong side. Repo, because it's repo, I can just wipe off. I didn't mean to put it on that side, just wipe it off. I want it on this side. Okay, do the same thing. And on my facing page for this one, I would put it in this corner, in this corner. All right, now, with this, what I want you to do is cut it in half. All right, and I want my cameras to be upright. So this way, um, I don't know what you're seeing because um, I'm trying to build this upside down. Let me think. To you, this is probably right. To you, the cameras look upright. So you wanna put them the way the cameras look upright to you, and then you're gonna snip closest to your embellishment or your piece of paper there. So I could snap, snip on either side. I want you to snip on the side that's closest to where you're gonna wrap it. All right, put your adhesive on the back. Center. The, the middle camera and then just wrap them around. 
Isn't that cute? Actually, just broke it. All right, I'm gonna do that again. So upside down to you. I'm gonna want it to be right side to you. So this should be right side up to you. So if that's right side up to you, I wanna snip on this side because I wanna snip on the side that's closest to the paper in the corner. Go ahead and put your adhesive on. Center the middle one, wrap the other around, and press down. Is that super cute? So let's see what it looks like on the other side. I've actually finished this page for you. All right, so let's let this be this side, and let's let this be this side, and I'll talk about all the things that I did. All right, so I did that scale. These were four by seven inch pieces of paper where at the same time, I went ahead and do, did two punches that fell off and here's here they are. I could have also popped those to get, get a really nice look. I did the wrap idea that I told you about. It was a six inch circle that I quartered and then I did um, two more strips. I needed two strips to get these um, where I cut it in half um, I snipped towards this on the side of the paper, centered the middle camera, and kind of wrapped them around. This right here, I don't think I showed you that skill, but it's crazy simple. It works really nice with a three by four um, uh, journal. I'm gonna do a three by four mat here. It could be three by anything actually, but I'm gonna do three by four. That's a really standard size for me for a journal mat. All right, and once you do that, what you do is you take your um, border punch and put it in so that it's centered. All right, so centered in the space is what I'm doing there. I'm centering it in the space. And then you mash, and then you've got a cute little notched place to journal. Um, I also went ahead and scored, I actually perforated this piece of white with my perforating blade that comes with this amazing trimmer, or you can get with this amazing trimmer um, so that I have lines actually to journal on very easily. Okay, so um, I hope you like it. If um, you are um, kind of new to Creative Memories and don't have all the tools that our tried and true clients all have, everybody has this guy, you guys. Um, and if you don't, if you've been with Creative Memories and you're still holding on to your old one because it's not broken, I'm going to ask you, do you sometimes get rid of perfectly good clothes because they're five years old? I bet you do. Um, this is so much better than any trimmer that we've ever had. It is worth the investment. And you should tell your husband, your mother, your boyfriend, your best friend to call your Creative Memories advisor and see if they can get one into these two-day shipping. Uh, they may even have one on your shelf. It's a great tool to have. You're gonna want it. Um, the border maker system, um, the photography chain is what I use today. Another one that I absolutely love and use all the time. Um, and of course, um, I'm really now addicted also to the circle tool. So anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this. I hope that you will um, try this. And thank you so much for watching. I really, um, hope everybody has a safe, fun, joyous Christmas. Bye.